So let's go straight up and tell him that it's not his child. I wonder who is this. Maybe Carlos. Or Nick. You okay, man? Yeah, I'm just... I wish I hadn't pulled that trigger. Just try to forget about it. Right here, Clem. Get it. <laughs> hey, get it. I'm coming to you. <laughs> here you go, Clem. <laughs> He's sad. <laughs> so, Clem, we were just talking. What's the deal with the kid? And what's his name? Luke? He in charge? You trust him? Kenny, please. Sarita, we don't know these folks. They seem nice. I like him. He's a good guy. Would you trust him with your life? I think so. Hmm. That guy, Big Al, he said they were on the run. Some people are after them. Well, you don't have to worry about that no more. They'll go tomorrow and you can stay here. Yes. Absolutely. Honey, you stay with us as long as you want. She's staying for good. Thank you. Of course. This is like a dream. Damn it, I am so happy right now. I, I can't even tell you. <laughs> Luke is mad. Luke is mad. Luke is Luke, very, very mad. Yes. <laughs> oh, you just came over. Suddenly. Changing seats. Hey there. Hey. Hey. Hope you like the food. Oh, it's it's great. Thank you. Peaches and beans. Great for nutrition. Not too great on the way out, though, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so it's Luke and Nick. Luke and Nick. You guys sure do look like a match. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just saying you look like good friends, that's all. <laughs> so, what was your plan here? Hold out for the winter? Actually, we were thinking of moving on. Somewhere up north. You ever heard of a place called Wellington? Wellington? The hell is that? A place. What kind of place? Yeah. Krista and I were going there. Supposed to be a big camp up near Michigan. Michigan? You got a hearing problem, kid? Yeah, Michigan. Think about it. Fresh water, lots of land, and cold-ass winter so the walkers get slow. Sounds like bullshit. Listen, Vanilla Ice. I don't know what your deal is, but you're more than welcome to take off in the morning. That'd be just fine by me. What's the deal with these guys, Clem? Hey, fuck you, buddy. It's fine, Nick. We're not staying. She's staying? What? Excuse me? You heard me. Luke, listen to him. I have been, but... Kenny's my friend. <laughs> please, there's no need for this. <laughs> now look, we've all had a long day. Please eat. Hmm. Pass me that can, duck. <gasps> duck. Duck? Who's duck? Silence. Hey, Clementine, would you uh, lend me a hand outside for a moment? Uh, giz? Uh, I'm sorry about that. You know, I used to be a teacher, and I remember what it's like to be caught in the middle of two clicks. I suspect they'll find common ground soon enough. It may take a little time, but that's just how these things work. Everything will be fine. Listen, relationships are like any machine. You don't throw them out when they break down. You get your hands dirty, and you grease the wheels. I want to stay with you and Kenny. Then stay you shall. I know that'll please Kenny. I missed him. And he missed you, I can assure you. <laughs> they say the world is over, but I'll tell you a secret. It's not. People are more political now than they ever were before. In the end, we can't change the world. All we can do is continue to learn from each other, to empathize and use our heads. 
All war is a symptom of man's failure as a thinking animal. Steinbeck, have you read him? Uh, well, we have plenty of time to catch you up on your, <laughs> your partner Matthew is amassing quite the literature collection. I think you'll like him. In any case, the point is, as long as we have our wits about us, we can always make the right choice. Right? Maybe and maybe not. Maybe. Maybe not. What's the matter, Clementine? Is there something you want to tell me? You can talk to me, Clem. There's almost nothing you could tell me that would surprise me. Um, I can promise you that. I'm worried about your friend. I think that... Don't worry. Matthew will be back soon. And everything will be fine. But I think... Hey, kids. What are you two talking about? Hey. Oh, politics. The hell? Well, being from Florida, I would imagine you know all about politics, Kenny. Man, I know one advantage of living in the apocalypse is not dealing with that shit no more. <laughs> I was just gonna check the windows round back before this storm hits. Well, Keep politics saying? isn't really sure. the best thing ever. <laughs> Basically, all politicians you can meet are liars. Miss? Hey. You are here. Please, do you have any food? Are you okay? I saw the house and I have a family. We're starving. We live down there. Uh, uh, of course. Why don't you come in, Miss... Bonnie. Walt, I don't know. You just gonna let her in like that? It's fine, Kenny. We don't know this girl. Then we'll have to get to know her. Right, Clem? Walt. How much damage can this poor woman do? Check her for weapons. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bonnie you, will remember really, that. But that storm will be on us soon, and I gotta get back to my family. I'll bring something out to you then. You don't have to do that. No, no, it's fine. What about your people? We've got plenty. You stay put. I'll be right back. I have a little girl like you. How old are you, sweetie? Um. Uh... I don't I, know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that much? Here you are, miss. This is too much. Don't mention it. I don't know how to thank you. Just help someone else down the line. Thank you so much. I'll be going now. You stay safe. You too. She'll be back. Clem, go on inside and get to bed. Walt and I gotta talk for a second. And Walt will get shot. And I suddenly don't. Luke is coming. I knew don't it. Don't freak out. That... Who wouldn't freak out over that? You Listen, suddenly come around the corner. I gotta tell you something. That guy on the bridge was Walter's friend. <sighs> I knew something was off, so I asked Sarita about their friend. Now they're all worried he's not back yet. Where's Nick? I don't know. I don't think Walter knows yet, so we have to keep this quiet. I mean, who knows what the hell he'd do if he found out. We should tell him. We should tell him. He's gonna ask who did it, and you're gonna tell him. It's the right thing to do. It's right to get Nick killed because that's what's going to happen. Now, do you, uh, you still have that knife? Because if it was Matthews and Walter sees it, he's going to put two and two together. It's with the other weapons. Okay, well, go get rid of it. I'll find Walter and run interference. Oh, and, uh, keep an eye out for Nick. I'm right here. What's up? Oh, uh, there's nothing, man. I just wanted to check and see if you're okay. We have to tell you something. Hey, if there's something going on, I want to know. No, just go back to bed, Nick. Hmm. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. God 
Damn it. Hey, Nick, shut the fuck up. I can't, man. I can't. Do not fucking blow it. Blow it? It's over. I have to tell him, Luke. What? No, you can Hey, Nick, you cannot do that. Are you fucking nuts? I gotta. I can't live with that on me. Okay, I hear you, but f I mean, fuck, man. Do you know what he's gonna do? You should tell him. Yeah, yeah. Nick, I'm warning you. This is fucking suicide. I'll live with it. Jesus Christ. Jesus. I can't handle this. Yay! Look, Clem, just go do that thing, alright? Go do what thing? Why would I hide that knife? Why are you hiding the knife, Clementine? It's gone. It's gone. And there's water. Let's go and tell him. Walter? He's I always man. liked this knife. Oh, snap. Gave it to Matthew when all this started. I know he's dead. Who did it? Was it that, that kid? What's his name? Uh, Nick? Heard him talking earlier, something about shooting a man. I could see it. I could see it on his face. Wasn't sure then. But now? It was us. It was our fault. Jesus. I, um... I don't feel good. Nick shot him. Is, uh... Is Nick a good man? Or is he just like everyone else? Is he just one of those, uh... Those fuckers that don't give a shit about anyone but themselves? Kind of. He's... he's like everyone else. He was always going out alone. I told him something like this would happen, but he wouldn't listen. No, Matt always knew best. What's going on? You need to get out of here. Hello. <laughs> this world is hell. People like Matthew aren't coming back. This is it, and now he's gone! What did you do? Did you hurt him? Hmm? Did you hurt Matthew? Hmm, he has a knife. He just realized. Oh. Didn't do anything, all right? Past midnight, and the storm is coming. Walt, what's going on? The storm's got it spinning out of control. That sound's gonna draw walkers. We gotta shut it down now. Help me. Carry the guns. Guns? That thing's a damn dinner bell. Are there any brakes or it or something? Because what the hell was I don't that? see much of a reason why it would be able to damn be shut down. It. Transformer must have gone. Gotta check it. I could use a hand. I'll go with you. I'm going to. No! It's too dangerous. The rest of you, get this thing shut down. Okay. Does anyone know how to do this? Great. I can do it. 
Okay. We'll watch your back. Nick, scan the trees with me. Okay, time to do something I've never done before. Lighter. But I want to fire go out in the wind. You know, the wind travels around objects and then it starts again over here. So the fire would go out. There's a keyhole. That was it. Two grown men and a grown woman couldn't do that. But an 11 year old girl could. What? Something ain't right. 